Um, and finally, we're going to do Blind Man's Bluff. This is where a blind man comes on the show and we bluff him during a game of poker. It's very insensitive. <laughs> so cruel. So how this works is uh, I'm going to read a little excerpt from Robert's website at setjetter.com. And then Robert's going to guess it. And we're going to plunge into the magical world of set jetting by Robert's extensive and fantastic website. And that is true. So, Robert, you ready? Okay. Yeah, I always kind of forget about this, but go for it. Because you hate it deep down, I think. Well, I sometimes can't guess my own work. But go ahead. It's because that there's so many, so many to choose yep. from. It's amazing. So I this hope movie it's an, here's I hope the it's an 87. <laughs> this is uh, so Jaws: The Revenge was released. No, uh, excerpt from the setjetter.com reads: This movie blank was released on September 28th, 1994. Although I wasn't too much of a fan of the film at the time, it has grown on me over the years. Below are a few of the locations I visited. Oh, that's a tough one. That does not. There's give no me clues in much. there. There is not. September of '94. What's been happening? What is happening? I was 24 years old. Whew. Oh, okay. I was a youngin. God. So this movie uh, features a very famous now actor uh, <laughs> becoming. He was pretty famous at the time, actually. Yeah. Um, but this is a black and white film. 1994. A black and white film in 94? Locations are mostly or all, according to this entry, in Los Angeles. <laughs> and it was in black and white? Black and white. Why don't I know this? I feel like that that's probably a big clue. I'm going to read you an excerpt from one of the <laughs> all right. descriptions. And if you don't know it, I'm just going to give a review. Okay. All right. Okay. Ed's second apartment is located at 6383 Yucca Street oh, in Los Angeles. I got it. Ed Wood. Ed Wood, ladies and like, gentlemen. What, I was like, what film would possibly be in black and white? It's uh, a tough one. <laughs> yeah. I was it thinking, is a tough one. Yeah. Um, All right. So this is Ed Wood. This is a fun entry, though. Do you, uh, do you remember doing these shots? Yeah. I remember some of these had not been found at the time, and I remember I had to do some uh, work uh, to, to find it. So... The uh, obviously kind of around Los Angeles, um, Bordner's has been in all sorts of movies. Um, it's right off of Hollywood Boulevard, so everybody's pretty pretty familiar with that. And, so, and also the scene of a major crime this weekend. The Los oh, Angeles, really? there's, there's a shooting there, where like three people got shot. Oh, geez, and uh, it's been uh, all over Hollywood. the news. Hollywood, Cherokee, and and this is Cherokee in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, that's where it was. So yeah, good old so. Hollywood. Way to go, Hollywood. But um. But, yeah, I know this area. This is cool. These are great shots. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, oh, classic. Mr. Frank Grill will always be there. I can't imagine that ever going away. So, no. I think um, it was here that, uh, was it Clark Gable and somebody else? They would like drag race for pink slips in front after <laughs> drinking here. There was like some old stories from like the 30s where they would get drunk and then they'd come out and like race their cars. It was like when Hollywood was a small kind of town i would not be surprised so yeah. um but yeah so a lot of these in hollywood ed's yeah here's ed's first apartment that you're alluding to which oh, yeah. uh north ogden i don't I think that's not too far from or i think it's kind of off wilshire kind of down the ways a bit so oh yeah if i'm thinking correctly so um yeah the movie within a movie um <laughs> it's i it's always interesting that yeah, obviously they have to take down signs and do all sorts of stuff at 94 this was yeah i would see uh they weren't they didn't have the cgi capabilities like we do now to just <laughs> delete the sign you know or you know pay them do it. and so forth um but also yeah. you know obviously quentin tarantino also refused to do that for hollywood he wanted everything done in camera which i appreciate on actual hollywood boulevard itself so oh for uh once upon a time yeah yep oh did he really Oh, yeah. They just really transformed. Up oh, wow. Everything. I had no idea because I watched that and I'm like, how did they you, or you not should, how, but I'm like, yeah. oh, they must have just digitally did that. No, there's a lot of people have a lot of pictures and behind the scenes that they all the storefronts, pretty much everything um, on one side they, they did. And I think they came yeah. back and then did the other uh, for the reverse. And so I, that's probably why it took so long. But uh, oh, yeah. that's why I do appreciate uh Quentin as you know as authentic as you can get so that is so, authentic so a lot of these yeah they're just right off Hollywood Boulevard and uh pretty easy to to find pretty cool and uh yeah this one's kind of grown over his second apartment Yucca Street barely yeah I did not find that one myself so 
uh, Toluca Lake, which is actually right next to Burbank. So I drive by this church many times. Oh, yeah. I wonder where this is. Very cool. And of course, some LA main stage, the different uh, theaters. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. And I'm trying to think where else I've been as, as I'm going through this. I haven't revisited. Oh, so this is the one that took me a while to find, but I kind of used some clues, obviously, to figure out where uh, his the studio was. And so there's another part of the studio angle that I did not get that somebody had found since I visited. So I'll have to go fix that sometime. Uh, where's uh, Cosmo Street? Is that like downtown somewhere? It is not too. No, it's uh, right off Hollywood, a little bit the other way. So, oh, OK. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I don't. I remember. I don't even know where Gardena, California, is, but I was there. <laughs> well, you were there. You yeah, got I was it. there. You're a completist. Um, and of course, uh, Vampira uh, is at Hollywood Forever, and Bella. I'm not sure where he's buried, but he has a a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oh yeah. Not that I'm promoting the Hollywood Walk of Fame by any means. No, no way. <laughs> but this is a this is a really cool entry to the uh, to your site, though. Yeah, I need to uh, update it because, like, I've met. Juliet Lewis. Is that her name? Yeah, Juliet uh, Lewis. Ju I'm sorry, Juliet Landau, sorry. Oh. Uh, uh, I think so. Because she's in that film, I think. So yeah. So um, interesting. Yeah. And I think I've been to a couple locations. But yeah. So Edward, I did not uh I think people were throwing ice at us in the movie, if I remember right. Movies were a little bit different. <laughs> so I was throwing ice. I think somebody was throwing ice at us from behind. 